We have a look into the start of a new season for the Mercer Bears basketball team and how the Bulldogs hope to ride their momentum against Vanderbilt. 41 NBC's Dustin Wilson joins us with Sports Spotlight. The Mercer men's basketball team will hit the court tomorrow afternoon for the first time of the 2010-2011 season. There are many unknowns about this year's team and that's what has head coach Bob Hoffman anxious for the start of practice. Man, I can't wait. That's good stuff. I, I wish it was right now. Mercer men's basketball coach Bob Hoffman knows his team is young but says their potential is through the roof. The Bears were tapped 7th out of 11 teams in the Atlantic Sun preseason poll and returned starters Brian Mills and Jeff Smith from last year's team. ESPN analyst Jay Billis spoke at the Bears tip-off banquet and says the team will have to rely on young players. Mercer will be young. Uh, you know, Mercer, after having lost James Florence and, and Dave Emerson, it's going to be a little bit of a rebuilding uh, job with so many young players. And anytime you're relying on young players, you're, you're talking about inconsistency. So uh, you, know, you have to you have to build through that. Coach Hoffman understands the task ahead and says his team must be focused to get better every time they hit the floor. The bottom line is that we'll have them talk about some individual goals and some collective goals. Uh, but the most important thing right now is for us to get better every day. I mean, uh, if you're not trying to get better every day, we're not going to be as good as we can be. And for me personally, we just got to find a way to win. Hoffman says a big element of winning is home court advantage and having the support of the community. Every night it's a battle and that's why we need everybody, I mean everybody, to come out and support us and be a part of this because you can make a difference for our success. The Bears will open play against GCSU at home on November 4th and tip-off is set for 7.30 p.m. 